เฮ้เพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเพื่อนเ
honestly, when when things like this happen, like the versus battle, I'm literally just here because Danny's commentary is hilarious, no matter <laughs> what. But it's also relatable. Like you guys know that if they would have had the battle, that females would have been in their feelings and dudes would have been having to find a couch to sleep on for For real. It would have been a lot of side iron. That's facts. All night. Um, Show me them you went to work receipts. Let me go through the chat real quick because we got a bunch of people in here. E-Money, what's up? Frankie, what's up? J. Jeff, E-1. Um, who else is in here? Rice Goat. Stevie. Mr. Laced Up. Mr. Laced Up. I see you. Chantel. Josh is in the building. Josh. We appreciate you guys for watching. Phoebe. Fantasia. I think a Fantasia battle. I don't know who would battle. Oh yeah, I, I, I mean, like I love that. Yeah, if if you're ready to hear some shouting and having your speakers blown out, then you know, yeah, you, you turn on fans. Yeah, she do be hitting that shout. But but does she have the catalog? She got the. I mean, honestly, she does. She doesn't have the catalog that's known. Like you got to be a fan to know her music. Like I, I mean, I I, I, like I listen to some of her songs. I I would totally be for it just to watch her kick them shoes off. Hey, Jamie. Because okay. she's always kicking her shoes off whenever she's performing. Um, too short is too old school. You just don't have the lyrics to be compared to E-40. Honestly, Bay Area music was never really about the lyrics. It honestly was about the beat and the, the hyphy movement that it created. So while I do kind of... Too short is like a, a legend, bro. Yeah, he is. but And he is old school. But at the same time, like it wasn't really about lyrics. Um, music wise, at least, like, I mean, people still use too short music, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Agreed. Um, hey, big perm, appreciate you coming by. Um, babe, do you want to talk about your y'all be press? Press, 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 press. Um, press. yeah, so we got about a few, well, two topics. Um, basically, um, uh, one is those, those, those new Apple uh AirPods, AirPod Maxes, AirPods not. First of all, they're these huge, oversized, bigger than Beats earmuff like headphones, and they have the audacity to be calling them AirPods Max. Um, when you think pod, you think something that sits in the ear, not something that is the size of your head. Secondly, that price point sitting at $550, mm, I don't see it. Um, so they're definitely, definitely getting lazy when it comes to the marketing, because why would you call these AirPods? I don't know. Uh, somebody either was sipping or drinking or just sleep. Well, when I mean, have, they, have they had any headphones in general aside from you know their no no and and I and I, so and, and I, and I no. they have the beats on the other side so what are they gonna call them? I mean, honestly, they they own both companies. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I guess this is their way to uh go at the people who are very specific with the Apple branding per se. Um, Cause you know, you have your people that are loyal to beats and then they're probably everybody, their mother and their cousin and the goldfish probably got a pair of AirPods or AirPod pros or something or Apple headphones in general. So I'm thinking that they're probably sending this, this targeting the people who specifically want to keep everything with that Apple logo on it. Um, but that price point is real hefty. Like I'm not dropping 550 on a pair of Apple headphones. Um, now I do have the AirPod Pros and I love my AirPod Pros, but I'm also uh, I, I'm also a Beats girl because of my days of commuting in New York City. So I had the Beats Studio. So I understand the big over the ear design when you're trying to filter out and cancel out noise. But oh, these headphones look comfortable. <laughs> Five fifty? Like who who who's who's dropping that? Anybody in the chat interested? Everybody I need to know. And Apple, bro. We always said that who dropped when the when the iPhone went up to like a G. Or twelve hundred, they were like, "Who dropping that? Everybody dropping that." <laughs> Just well, but I mean, you can do so much more. You get so much more from your your iPhone. I mean, yeah. five fifty on some headsets. Bro, you know what I'm saying? And and you don't have a track record in in, in a headset this right. magnitude. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, to to enter the market with 
something this heavily priced is weird to me when you know what i'm saying like beats has cornered that market it was beats and what the bose headphones that that people were used to i mean first of all the design it looks like the designer of these headphones uh also designed the tech mesh ergonomic mm. chairs like i don't know what's going on with this design it's not for me uh like like that looks crazy mm. what is that a holster <laughs> You turn it your looks- headphones into a purse. <laughs> <laughs> they doing the most. They 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 struggling, but they probably sell a couple of units. You know, people go and get them. Uh, maybe maybe they'll connect to the PlayStation Five, and people will have a reason to have them. I don't know. It's bruh. Look, I was Team Beats till I got the AirPod Pros, which I love. I'm still gonna be Team Beats because nothing has like a base like that. But nah, these is a dub, especially for the price point. I don't doubt that but before Christmas is over, they'll be at... Wait, do they release before Christmas, or are they out now? Um, You know what? I don't even know. They re- they start um, pre-orders uh, 12-15, well, actually. I would say by February, they'll be half price. The, the crazy thing no, is... No, I don't think so. The crazy I think thing is... Still so. um, Beats aren't even the best quality of headset. People just are... Like, it's kind of like Beats is like a cult. It's like everybody who had Beats headphones, it was like a status. Um, and I mean, as far as bass, to get that booming bass in your ear, yes, you want to go with the Beats. But as far mm-hmm. as the best quality quality of sound, it's definitely not going to be Beats. But again, Beats outbeat a lot of other headphones because of a fashion trend. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the younger kids, the commuters. I know when I was commuting to New York, everybody on my train had to had Beats headphones. Everyone. Everybody and their mother, whether if it was the pros, I had the studios, which is this big, the, the huge ones, and then the ones that were the downsized, the regular studio ones, um, everyone had them. Um, but it'll be interest, it's interesting to see how Apple does with these up, with these headphones. I'm definitely going to try and follow the sales trends to see what they're doing out there, the numbers they're putting up. Yeah. I don't know. I'm good. Like, now I'm just I'm good with my get up and go with my, my uh, AirPods. Like, I'm over the head. Like, the headphone phase was kind of like a thing when you're like a commuter and you're taking a lot of public transit. You want to yeah. have headphones. And I guess people who go to the gym want music to drown out. But other than that, that that was that was the the big reason why I had the the big headphones that went over the ears because I was taking a train and taking a bus into Manhattan every day to work. Um, I I think too with the new um, noise. Um, they track they track your noise health. Um, I don't know if anybody saw that on the mm-hmm. with the iOS 14 update. They track the decibels and the amount of time yeah, that you spend. I did see that. And you can turn it off, but um, it's, it's something I didn't notice until today. Actually, I was looking at it, but like these will never ever compare to my um, my AirPods. The only gripe that I have and that I see happening with the app, uh, the AirPod Max is the Beats headphones almost always crack over here. Uh, this is my third pair of this specific headphone and they always crack on the side. A couple times. Um, yeah, so you, uh, you can replace it if you want to, but I mean, these will never be replaceable. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, freaking Skull Candies were my mm-hmm. shit. Like I rocked with Skull Candies for a good minute before like Beats got popping, and they did me justice. Like they had, they had like good beats. They were strong. But like I said, I guess I'm over my, uh, I'm over my headphone phase. I used to always try to find the loudest headphones I could <laughs> on the bus, blasting music. Mm-hmm. But now you got a car. Like fuck them headphones. <laughs> but at Beats are not the the those over the over the ear headphones that Beats has. They are the mm-hmm. worst headphones to wear in the gym. Like if you get oh, any yeah. ounce of sweat on them, it's a wrap. I prefer the um the over the ear the sports joints. Like those are actually great. I still have a pair. The Beats the over the ear sports ones. The uh, wireless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, those are super loud. They they charge and they last for super long. You know, obviously they're not popping out of your ears because they got the over the ear hook. I know, but how bougie do you have to be to have headphones just for the gym? There are a lot of people that do. I know, I, I, I do too. I but just, I mean, I oh, so you had, bougie. Who had multiple, had multiple Beats headphones to match gym outfits, which was crazy to me. 
<laughs> no, I, I just got either the white or the black. But I mean, my I noticed that if I'm doing cardio or I'm running, my AirPods will fall out of my ears. If I'm doing cardio or running with my beats, they're falling off. So I can't listen while I'm running. There's just too much movement going on. And I, I, I never tried the ones that like hooked behind your ear. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that they're going to be on a lot of Christmas lists. Those, those, uh, AirPod Maxes, you think? Yeah, I think so. I think they already are on list because, you know, they're releasing right before Christmas, but. I hope nobody's children. <laughs> right. Just wait till I see a child in public with them. Oh, on the right. These headphones and Playstations and like, yo, these kids are expensive. Right. They better take this onesie set, these mittens, this sweater, and a pack of... Better get the yob. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) Them them Christmas slippers grandma gets you every year that you never wear. (laughs) Um, Miss DMV, so which ones are you talking about? Like the ones with the, the, um, the silicone or rubber or whatever? Are you talking about the first AirPods? Are you talking about Beats? Oh, she wears the Bose headphones. Mm. Oh, they might get resold on StockX. You know, everything does. Bravo, what up, bro? We'll see. I don't know. That's um, the when no, it's he got it. She what got was the other got, thing you Cadillac, had to talk about? Cadillac headphones. Oh, the, the second thing I had to talk about on the Y'all Be Pressed was, was Snoop. You, you, y'all know Uncle Snoop. We all love Uncle he Snoop, but him. Uncle Snoop stayed charming in, always putting his nose in people's business, never, and sometimes it just don't be needed. So recently, you know, Snoop, he had to make comments, still talking about the, the WAP song that Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion released. I mean, how long ago I thought we were over this song mm-hmm. and being so taboo feeling about this song but he he recently did an article and it was in uh i saw it on the the griot.com um where uh he had an interview and he stated quote um oh god slow down like slow down and let's have some imagination uh let's have some you know privacy some intimacy where he wants to find out as opposed to you telling him now I have an issue with Snoop chiming in, being the simple fact that Snoop made his millions. He pioneered his his career off of objectifying women, toting women around in dog chains and dog collars. Um, But you want to be talking about women and them being free to talk about their sexuality and what they do with their vajayjays? It's just weird to me. Like, mind your business. Like, we not telling you what you were doing to make you famous and make your millions. So why are you running around telling Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion what to do to make their millions? I, I just think that it's weird. Like, you are objectifying women and using them as tools and basically boasting about how you was out here getting that whack and putting it in your music. But yet the women can't talk about it when they own the whack. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, couldn't we say the same when they talk about their size or what they can do with it? True, true. I just I just feel like I don't understand why this particular song um is such a problem when when like like hello, you had little Kim and, and Foxy probably saying things that were worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But mm-hmm. now it's a problem with the newer aged artists and I just don't understand it. Sandra Bravo said, Hella not using her close up. You listen, Instagram <laughs> just be playing me. But hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, Stevie says, So you're saying that's a double standard? Um, as far as what he's saying? Yeah, uh, Stevie, clarify. Maybe Snoop never had a WAP. He might be intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, probably I mean- why he cheats on his wife so much. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, she's. I think she's saying like, how are you gonna tell? Like you're saying, leave something to the imagination, as if these women are doing too much by being very blunt about whatever. Right. And 
you know, dudes are just out here talking about get on your knees and suck this and do that. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you know, what what is the difference? He, he was running around with women half naked on dog uh, leashes. No. Basically, t- t- telling, basically saying this is what what they're for. You use them for what they're used for, and kick their asses out at six a.m. Right. So how are you going to make a career off that, but like, then so have a problem with Cardi yeah. B singing about hers? So basically, guys can talk about women being hoes, but women can't talk about themselves being, you know, free sexually. Right. I heard you. Got the memo. <laughs> Just weird. I find it very weird. <laughs> Most things we as men do are for the purpose of WAP. Just saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, isn't that the goal? You, you, you try right. to get to I the mean, top of like, like, I feel like guys should be happy that they're putting it out there. They're telling you exactly, like, hey, look. Um, <laughs> they're putting WAP out here. Like, now you don't have to make the extra effort. They're telling you exactly what they got on the table, what they're offering. Right. That eliminate so much of the games that you guys complain about, right? Buying dinner and all of that. <laughs> Guys are never satisfied. Yeah, I just, I, women can be fickle too. I just, I just think that it's weird that that he has so much to say about it. When you know what I'm saying, like, hello, little Kim, Foxy Brown, uh, Kaya, her neck, her back, her pussy, and her crack. Like, all this stuff has been said. Well, clearly he's he's indecisive. I mean, isn't the same guy who divorced and remarried his wife? <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it wasn't his choice, but <laughs> <laughs> like, so sorry, I, baby, I was just fucking all them hoes. They had that wop, but let's get back together. I don't know. I I just think I thought that we were over this hump when it came to the wop song, and clearly, it's still, still, still very, you know, relevant right now. People are still pressed about it, and it's just weird to me. Like, like I thought, you know, I thought we grew up in the South Park days where shit like that didn't offend us but clearly people's feathers are still we've, being we've transitioned out of the south park phase i think <laughs> I think, uh, i think they're more pressed that the song just did so well and made so much money and now they're right. bad they're like mm-hmm. hey we've been singing about puss for a long time and we ain't make this much bread we ain't get these accolades <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is like i didn't get any awards for all the women i hit back in the 90s weird just weird Right. Well, speaking on that, did you see the TI thing? I meant to say something before the TI. Uh, of course, this guy's always talking and always double standard if that's a thing. But uh, he said something about uh, he was complaining about uh, women complaining about misogyny and how uh, they want a faithful guy and they don't like all these guys who want to, you know, be with a bunch of women. But he he his argument is that what woman what woman really wants to date a guy who doesn't have any quote unquote bitches which it kind of makes sense on one hand but i think he's taken out of context like it's not about how many women are after a guy it's more about what that guy is doing or being faithful or whatever you have it so he was basically trying to say like no woman wants a man who doesn't have women chasing after him or whatever the case may be now nah. so why are women complaining it sounds like he explaining away his everyday indiscretions. Yeah. I don't know. All like I know how many he... times has his wife done left him and came back to him? Right. Boy, boy. They got an agreement. That's what they got. Basically. Yeah, now they have an agreement, but prior to that, she was still getting her feelings hurt. I mean, because that's in her face. <sighs> Danny, I'm... we're not going to go there. <laughs> I'm trying to understand how he was checking his youngest daughter's hymen, but his oldest daughter is pregnant. Exactly. Well, he's trying to prevent that from happening. I guess. Oh, no, he was checking her hymen before she got pregnant. So he just said, F that one. He's like, that's a lost cause. Let me pick, uh, pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. Uh, that family is weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That family is weird. Um, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, StockX. Oh. has hold on let me pull up the article for you guys um StockX is seeking 2.5 billion dollars sheesh um, in CX, what up? Uh, private funding 
Right, because they laid off more than half of their staff, which was why our sneakers were taking 45 months to get to us. Mm -hmm. And they upped all the fees on the buyer's and the seller's side. So why you need more coins? Right. And the thing is, what got me when I read the article was that it's um, private funding. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds kind of sketchy to me. Hey, BX. You can't have any uh, you can't have any monetary links when you buy those cross the borders and send them out to customers as legit shoes. <laughs> um, basically, it's um, it's seeking the these funds for um, just to improve their business. Um, and you know they're trying to get their investors to stay, but it's just like, are you? Are you asking for private funding from your investors or to keep your investors? Because then what's the point of your investors? I don't know. It, it, so, it sounds like they're trying to rob uh, rob Peter to pay Paul. Like they owe somebody yeah. some cash and they, and they need to get this paid to get this person off their back while they still figure out what they're going to do on the back, the other side. Mm -hmm. and a lot of it in um, the article... It's linked in the description box, but um, it talks about, you know, the effects that COVID had on um, StockX. But it's just like StockX is not the only company that's affected by COVID-19. I feel like they should have been making more money. People were doing nothing but buying and selling shoes. Yeah. And they laid off more than half their staff, so they didn't have as much overhead when it came to the employees. So I'm not understanding. It's weird. It, is. it sounds it sounds it sounds crazy to me. Um, I think also like Bravo said, it, it's becoming a competition now with uh, more people getting into the forefront, and also eBay now you know going a deeper route into the sneakers now that they're seeing you know what it is. They're they're getting deeper into the sneaker business. Uh, I mean, but but people have been buying and selling sneakers yeah, on, on eBay, eBay for, for years, and I think them adding that that legit checking yeah. part of it yeah. mm -hmm. was what they were missing. So that's facts. Um, it says sources estimate that the Detroit based company is looking to raise 250 million million to fill a new leg of growth just for its website, which assigns ticker symbols to sneakers in a scrolling feed that displays bids, offers, and green and red arrows to show whether prices are up or down. 250 million just for your website. I guess I will. I will. I will take that two hundred and fifty million if it means that they're investing in some kind of chat feature. Because I still don't believe that these mofo's are legit checking and canceling orders. I believe that when they see a deal, they take said shoe, keep said shoe, and pay the seller and tell the buyer that it was fake. Mm. I, I believe that's what happened with my white Levi's. Right. Yeah, it says and recently with Miss DMV. Um. Uh, what happened? Igloos? Was it igloos? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So like because with no that, chat, that was a high ticket shoe, so. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's the thing um, they're missing. They need that chat feature, and it's like almost like they don't want us to interact with each other. Like, yeah. I would say you don't want people to be harassed, but I want some kind of confirmation that I know the shoe is legit, and this person got their shoe back because it was fake, or whatever the case may be. Because if I get a shoe for a steal, what's to stop you from keeping it and then flipping it, you know, holding on to it? They could have a warehouse full of shoes that they said were fake and they right, out. right, yeah. Um, it's saying that this proposal is more than double what stock rang rang up in June 2019 when investors valued the company at one billion as they had as they handed it more than one million in proceeds. The upcoming round is expected to be the last private fundraising before an anticipated initial public offering in mid-2021, according to sources close to the situation. The company has yet to create a pitch book for the um, upcoming fundraising, but has contacted existing investors in recent weeks to gauge their interest. I don't know. I think this, um, if they do... I. They'll get some kind of funding. I don't know if they'll get all of this funding, but 
we've seen so much corruption lately that it's, it's hard for us to trust that it's going to go to something that benefits the customer more so than the owner of the company and its investors. They ain't gonna need funding because ain't nobody gonna be buying shoes if we go back into lockdown and nobody ain't got no money. Right, that part, BX. Like, how are you gonna be a billion dollar company and not have a phone number where people? Because they know that phone will be ringing off the hook. They couldn't afford. They need a whole call. They need center. a customer service team. They need a whole call center in another country yeah. that spans miles. I don't know if I want a call center in another country, but we know they'll outsource it. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to afford the amount of the amount of labor they need. They couldn't afford it in the states. That's facts. So, you guys, so why know. not go ahead? Why not take it public? You know, and allow you know. Because when you take fundraising public, you have to tell the, you have to tell us how you're spending your money. Mm. If it's private, you don't have to say anything. They don't want no more heat. This is true. This is true. Um, I mean, but now with with the with the uh, the trade block guys, um, like with them allowing people to to trade shoes nowadays, like it 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 may, it may like if they get enough traction off of that, like buying and selling on some of these other platforms might you know start to dwindle down and become a thing of the past. Because ultimately, people sell shoes to get money to get other shoes. So if I can just trade the shoe, why not? Because it'll say it's going to fees. Because the issue is like, oh, okay, I got this shoe. I can sell it to get the other one. But I got to deal with the fees on both ends. Like, so yeah. Like, I mean, I hope I hope this becomes a thing that helps the trade block guys. Because I think I think they want to sell. Mm. Yeah. Like, they, they want to get discovered and possibly sell. If not, you know, hopefully they just pick up some traction and either go or stock X, like, takes an interest mm. and in the end you know their their system into they can like partner up or something like, um but in true hella fashion it would not be a 2020 and end of 2020 episode if i didn't have a list that Here had you go trash ass shoes on it <laughs> <laughs> Here you go so, these lists you love my list stop playing no. Um, so this is an article from Design Boom, and it is their top ten sneakers of 2020. Let me just tell you guys how trash this is. <laughs> this is the first two on this list. Like, first of all, I've never seen that. What in the camel toe? What in the moose knuckle? What in the hell is this? Like, first of all, mm. I've never seen that Ninja Turtle foot soldier shoe in my life. Mm. I don't. Yeah, no. Yeah, we're going to skip right on over to that. Right on over that. I mean, I, I don't know what ISPA design that is. There are a couple of ISPA designs that I actually like. Um, mm -hmm. But that old moose knuckle thing in the front, yeah, no. Yeah, We're not doing that. Look at that. It separates your toes like you're wearing shank gloves. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Nope. I'm not sure how I feel about the these Adidas Future Craft. Uh, I'm pretty sure they use the 4D technology, but mm. I it doesn't seem like it's gonna. It looks crunchy. Right. right. I'm yeah. like <laughs> snap, crackle, and pop. Like it. Like I don't. It looks crunchy. I mean, um, kind of cool, but these are interesting looking. Yeah, I like the design of them. I don't know that I would wear them. These would would probably be like a glass case type of thing. What is, what is this list? Top ten shoes you would never see in a retail store ever. Mm. <laughs> Sneakers of twenty twenty. <laughs> okay, so wait, these Vans. Okay, so so clearly no shoes released this year. The mochas didn't release this year, no. The biohacks didn't release this year. But and that's that's why I have these here because it's it's a different perspective and clearly like I I know that I like I like the idea behind the auto the autism awareness vans, but it's like 
But who who vote like who voted on these shoes? Jeff. This is the top Ross finds of the year. I don't. Hey, you know what? The article doesn't even have or it might have an author, but you know, how usually at the top it has an author. I didn't see an author. What? Like I like to know where they sourced this information from. Clearly, the author, right. someone who lives in a penthouse somewhere in Soho, <laughs> doesn't get out much. And they um, say they're, they're that's up. a good question. <laughs> <laughs> But that that's the thing is like I, I find these lists and I know that they're they're shit lists. So I we speak about how bad they are because it's funny to us. She yeah, finds she, list we list. know <laughs> that we're gonna argue an actual sneaker, like top ten sneakers of twenty twenty, which would take us probably three, four hours to argue. But this we don't have to argue here. We can just agree that they're terrible. <laughs> but um I tried these specific vapor maxes on in person mm -hmm. no no i mean i don't like vapor maxes anyway they they look like teething rings on shoes and no that looks like melted crayons and yeah i don't know what else bro i can't i think it was actually stevie stevie mm -hmm. wanted a pair mm -hmm. of these and i told him um i own the original vapor max i have a bunch of colorways of them i don't really tend to gravitate towards them, so I told him to try them on in person or see them. Yo, that part is money. Spoiler kit. That definitely looks like some kind of NAS fueling system. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> oh. All right, the Legos, the Legos were disappointing only because the box was not yep. like, right. Bro, don't psych me out like I'm going to have some super duper Lego box that I'm going to build on top of. And I get a cardboard box. This right. is a you guys saw that episode. Oof. Right. You guys saw that episode. You knew I was excited just about the box. Pause. And they advertised it as though we were going to get a box that looked like that. And that's not what came. Like, what, right. what is this? They're like, oh, yeah, by the way, that was just advertisement. <laughs> right. And then, like, even the, the Beyonce, Ivy Park, um, Adidas, um, they came in like this white box, all white box, no branding on it. And it comes inside of a white sleeve, like the b most basic packaging you could think of. And then you have a shoe like the Lego shoe inside of it. I'm like, wait, but where's the Lego box? Right. 2021 for people like, if we're going to be paying all this money for these shoes, because clearly we know, we know it's not costing that much to make these shoes. Like, nope. And like, at least make us feel like we're getting what we paid for. And right. the thing is, mm -hmm. forever still, until someone proves me wrong, the best all around shoe has been the hey, Kev. Like the Sockanese, their packaging, their quality of material. <clears throat> and and they're cheaper, like what, 120 bucks for those pumpkin spices? Yep. They gave us super mm -hmm. supreme materials, bag, uh, laces, lace bags, the box, uh, a dust bag, like all of that for like 120. Yep. Like, Still paying 190 for glue stained Jordans that re release every three years. It's ridiculous. BX said he's always excited about the box. Um, but that's the thing, like, I would have easily paid 180, 190, maybe even 200 dollars for a Lego box to come with the shoes, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, easily would have done it strictly off I, nostalgia. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't even know how much the shoe was because word hit on them and I didn't. But I was glad when, when she, cause she did an unboxing in her stories, and I was like, "That ain't no Lego box." Where that box at? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not box. existing. Right, but look at the name of this shoe. What's that called? The Chinese. This is racket. grown. This is grown. Bruh. Is this even a shoe, or is it like a concept model? I don't, I don't know. know. But whoever wears these shoes is definitely a raw vegan. Yeah, I was about to. I was about to make a joke, and <laughs> it wouldn't have been good. <laughs> um, I like these. You have to get your sizing right, and I like this colorway. The Pharrell and then these. So I was so disappointed oh, because I had the originals, and they are so uncomfortable. I was I was disappointed by this shoe. It's just not comfortable at all. I love NMDs, but these are totally different from. Well, I don't want to say totally different from regular M uh, NMDs, but I only own one pair of Pharrells. Um, I guess I just dig the colorway then. This is my top shoe on this whole list. 
What in the sock shoe is this? That definitely looks like a pair of socks with laces. That's a sock that somebody dipped into some plastic dip and then added some shoestrings. Yep. I'm putting out, that's it, 2021, I'm putting out a shoe. That's it. I guess this gives me the minimalist vibes or what all of them. Hey, yeah. Dillinger. Like minimalist, like you don't need your toes? Oh, whoever's wearing those or buying those is definitely not leaving the house. Their house is white walls, white floor, white everything. Bro, I'm dead. Danny, stop it. For real. How did how did the Nike Adapt make it on this list is my question. Is it just purely technology driven? Like, are all these shoes technology driven? I don't know. Maybe this is a list of shoes that were concepts and we never thought they would waste money creating. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. That that sole is thick. <laughs> it looks it's like, like that's four C's, not two. That's it, four. It looks like you know the the sh like the person who has like the one hey, short leg. It oh. looks like that shoe, the shoe that got the thicker sole for the shorter leg. Shout out to Way Before the Fame. Everybody, go check out his site. He put out that Nike collab. It's fire. Okay, that's the end of my list. I am done torturing you guys. Thank you for triggering us. Hello, ladies. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome. I that is what I'm here for. I'm we can get daggers into <laughs> our, list. our top Christmas movie. Before before we get into that, because we did this is not like an official show, but uh, I don't want to end the year off without having like a artist of the year type thing. Mm -hmm. So I just want to end the year off with uh Showing some love to some black male businesses, uh, you know, FBCC or Saya Collective and Cool Kai. Um, like, I, I don't know if you guys follow them. You know, obviously, we did the show on Cool Kai's, uh, one, I guess you want to call him Lightning Bolt one. He calls him the Air Kai. Um, and if anybody knows FBCC out in the Bay Area, he has his own shoe line where he actually designs and makes his own shoes. But uh, these two guys, they've been going hard for the longest. I mean, they're both East Coast originators. Kai's from Jersey. Um, FBCC is from New York, but he's in Oakland now. <clears throat> um, you know, they're not getting the traction that I feel like they should with all that they're doing, all the money that they're making. They're killing it. You know, Kai did a, a drop in Cali for like three days, and he had a line every one of those days, sold out all his shoes. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, FBCC dropped the video. They gave some knowledge because, um, you know, I pre-ordered a pair for the homie drama of uh, one of Kai's shoes, and he still hasn't gotten it, and it's been like four months. But um, FBCC explained the business behind it, that when everybody places all these orders, all that money is not released to them. So they're basically making everyone's shoes out of their own pocket. They can't get their money until they send those shoes out. So, you know, shout out to them. They're they're paying for like shoes and like this guy, he posted that he did three million dollars in sneaker sales, bro. Like in the business, no blog love, no comments, I mean, nothing. Their their success honestly has nothing to do with money though. And that's and that's yes, that's yeah. what people have to understand. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I, I like where um uh Saya is in in like they sell out almost immediately, but they're still a really small business. Mm -hmm. Right. And he's running it himself. So that says a lot. And that's that should be a good motivation to anybody who's trying to start um a business. Like don't look at it um numbers wise because because right. it's definitely you know, because like yeah, he, exactly. he started he started as a customizer and how he got so known was he did 30 days. Like I can't even do he did 30 days where he did a brand new custom every day. 30 days he said he barely slept and every day he would just post a new custom and it basically got him noticed like i mean this guy turned down a job with under armor because he was designing for curry so you know shout out to him for shooting his dream he he wanted to do it how he wanted to do it and he's successful at it so you know shout out to the both of them i've never been able to catch my side my size and no, I'm trying to I'm trying to get out those, those pigeon vulture like the dog yeah. looking those things are so fire. Nope. I I had to um unfollow because I was getting so upset. Oh with the <laughs> well in January he's gonna release new memberships. So definitely if you see something though hit us up because um Littlefoots she has a membership so she can get access earlier to things mm. and she can get down to order for her. So yeah. Um Okay, everybody's starting to talk about their uh, top five movies. Who wants to go first, or should I go first? You. Okay. Um, my my top five is in order. 
My number one um, Christmas movie is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Do not at me. Number two comes before number one on my list. I will not argue that. Um, my number two is the Santa Claus, the first one. Uh, number three is the first Home Alone. Number four is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, mm -hmm. the one with Jim Carrey. And my last one is Charlie Brown Christmas. And I'm going to have um, everybody go through their movies before we discuss them because they're kind of the same. Mm -hmm. um, I think Danny actually mm -hmm. had a couple movies I've, I've never even seen. So I'm going to have to put those on my to-be-watched list. But um, Word, go ahead and tell everybody your top <clears throat> 11 because my, my, my list is longer, so I'll let Danny go. Go ahead, Danny. <laughs> so my list, I have Miracle on 34th Street, because I remember watching that as a kid growing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this Christmas, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, uh, Best Man Holiday, mm -hmm. Last Holiday, The Preacher's mm -hmm. Wife, and While You Were Sleeping. I'm such See, a Danny thought outside of the box. I was just thinking specifically Christmas movie. <laughs> But I like that though, because now I can have Christmas movies to watch. Right. My my long list. I don't know how they try to do a top five, but I had to Word have, is clearly like, a movie buff. Yeah, I, I freaking love movies, bro. Like I love movies. Number one best Christmas movie ever. I have to watch it twenty times a year. Elf. Four Christmases, which most people probably don't even know about, but we'll get into it later. This Christmas, of course, anything with Chris Brown in it is a go for me. Home Alone 2, because it's the best Home Alone out of all the Home Alones. Mm -hmm. Best Man Holiday. A Christmas Story, because you cannot go one Christmas without saying to keep your eye out. Like, it's a fact. Scrooged. The Night Before Jack Frost. Jingle All the Way. Last Holiday. Bad Mom's Christmas. And Nothing Like the Holidays. Which, I, like, I got a bunch of movies people probably don't even know about. Yeah. Um, one thing about Elf is the only reason why I don't like it. I worked at Target for three years and we had a uh, like a broke down mm -hmm. TV and a broke down DVD player with all these DVDs. But the only DVD that worked ever <laughs> was Elf. Lord. So Elf was on all the time. And so it just made me not like the movie because I was exposed to it so much. It is a good Christmas movie, though, and it is funny. But that's the only reason why I didn't put it on my list is because I was like, I'm I'm still burnt out and I haven't been at Target for years. So. <laughs> Elf is the best, bro. It's a good, like, um, like a good hearted comedy for. Uh, it's just it's just hilarious. Just like the things he said, like just being so clueless, like, like. The favorite part is when Santa comes, like, you're not Santa. You smell like beef and cheese. And A Christmas Story, they literally play it for 24 hours every year. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. It, mm -mm. Gets a little, it gets to be a little bit much, but yeah. I mean, it's classic. Yeah, we actually have one of those lamps. From oh, the from the lamp Mm -hmm. Like, look, bro, when he puts his tongue on the pole, like, what were you thinking, kid? That's literally the most iconic <laughs> part of that movie. Like, Chilltown said, how is Bad Santa not listed? I, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I was never, like, a, a super fan. I think that's, like, a guy's Christmas movie. Like, all the guys love Bad Santa. Um, I mean, Die Hard would be on my, like, I, I, try, I excluded Die Hard only because, like, it's more of an action movie. So I tried to do more, like, Christmassy movies. Like it's movies. yo, it's crazy because I was out. People were literally debating about this on Facebook all week about Die Hard, and I'm like, like, it, it, it it's, it's really a not a Christmas movie. Movie. Like, it's just, it's who just during, violence on Christmas, right? It's just based <laughs> during the holiday time. It's like the most Christmas you get out of that is that it's at a holiday party, right? But it's like, uh, did it <laughs> with the, the, the Santa Claus? No, no, nobody in the um, in the chat. Home Alone no. 2 is the best, is over Home Alone, over Home Alone 1. Stevie, get your life together. Stevie, spell it right though. Come on, he said Home Alone 1. <laughs> home Alone 2. I mean, half half the adults can't navigate through New York, <laughs> navigates through New York. Come on, right. Um, about, the only person I saw say Four Christmases is Dillinger. Have you guys, either of you guys seen Four Christmases? No. 
No. It sounds familiar, but I wanted to talk about Chris Brown's uh, cover of This Christmas for the This Christmas movie. Mm. Iconic. Chef's Kiss. Yeah, it's probably one of the best Christmas songs. (laughs) It's probably up there with Mariah Carey. Oh, Jingle All the Way. I just saw that one. Did I not put that on there? I thought I had that on mine. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. I think because I had to to, cut some stuff. Yeah, because it was the top five. It's not it, Jingle All the Way is like number nine. Yeah, with Sinbad and Arnold Schwarzenegger, classic. Mm-hmm. It's that it's that that nostalgia from our days when our parents had to probably fight other parents to get us the gift we wanted. The mm. Tickle Me Elmo days. Yes, kids. my parents were a part of the Tickle Me Elmo craze, and they actually mm-hmm. got my sister one for that Christmas, which is weird because I'm I'm the youngest. Uh, out of my sibling, and I didn't even want a tickle me Elmo. She got a tickle me Elmo. Chill time is right. Friday after next is a Christmas movie when the crackhead Santa's stealing everybody's stuff. Oh lord! <laughs> it was pretty classic. Honestly, after next Friday, it was kind of redundant for me. <laughs> um, best made holiday is like a tearjerker Christmas. Like, not only is it a holiday Christmas, but, you know, someone dies. Just Wait, special. did you explain what Four Christmases was? Oh, yeah, Four Christmases is with Vince Vaughn and um, Reese Witherspoon. Uh, basically, they're a couple. Yeah, they're a couple, and they're, I guess they're a couple. They're not fine. Like, they, they're really, like, they're really set in their way. They're kind of like a selfish couple, so they don't care. Like, they don't care for their family and all that. So every Christmas, they go on vacation for themselves and treat themselves on vacation. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, they always tell their family some lie that they can't make it because of work or whatever. And they got caught out there with some storms, so they weren't able to go away for the for Christmas. So they get caught on camera because of the publicity that they caught on camera and basically their family sees it. So now they have to go see their family. It's four Christmases because both of their parents are divorced. So they have to do Christmas at every, their mom, both their mom and both their dad's house. And like their family is just ridiculous. And, like it's it's the funniest, it's the funniest thing ever. But basically, through going back home and and being with their family and all the bad stuff happening and finding out stuff about each other, you know, they start to realize that maybe they want more. Like they they didn't want to get married, they didn't want to have kids. And then obviously, seeing their family, it makes them realize that maybe they do want more. But yo, it's it's hilarious. Like I, I, I was watching. Passion of Christ is a little deep. Frankie Lodi. Right. I watched that, <laughs> but I get it. He said it's an Easter movie. <laughs> um, okay. Jack Frost? Huh? Jack Frost with um Michael Keaton, where uh he he died, he dies like on Christmas. Uh like his son played hockey or something like that, and he was supposed to go to a son's hockey game, and I think he gets hit, like get killed in a car crash. And I think the next Christmas he comes back as a snowman, and he's like helping his son, like as a snowman. No, I didn't. I didn't see that. Pretty good. Well done. Give me a second. It's one of those cheesies, like uh, Charlie Brown. Let me pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Give me a second. That and the night before with Seth Rogen. What movie haven't you watched? (laughs) I watched all the movies. Oh, you gotta watch the night before. It's hilarious. Listen. I love a good Christmas comedy. Cause like I mean on TV all we see on the episodes is all the uh the lovey dovey stuff. I just want to laugh at like I want to see bad bad Christmases because that's that's what people's Christmases really is going to be with family and uh being annoyed. <laughs> like enjoying <laughs> them and then being annoyed and ready to go. Um I'll make this bigger while we uh go through our top. But we're gonna start with Danny. First, because I said so. So, Danny, <laughs> let us How know. How you gonna start with me first? And I'm at the end of the list. It's okay though, because we can go this away instead of going that away. I don't appreciate this. <laughs> I'm being forced. He is. It's my constitutional right to say <laughs> I don't want to be first. Anywho, <laughs> uh, so I got the LeBron Christmas 8. Uh, I don't have that pair, and I really want that pair. Um, I have the LeBron Christmas 9. Um, 
the Kobe six Grinch, like who doesn't want that pair? Like it's, it's like green. Like I love green. Gotta have that. Um, the SB high, uh, concept, ugly Christmas sweater, mm -hmm. the 2017 release, um, the air max 90 candy cane. I love that pair. Um, I wear that pair. It's pretty beat up. I usually wear it around the holiday times. Um, and then the KD5 Christmas, um, another pair that I beat up, um, but I love, I, I love it as well. Word. Oh, it's on me. Uh, yeah, number one, you know, my SBs, I got the ugly Christmas sweater. It's very funny that we all picked the same one because there's three different ones, but you know, I'm a big fan of the blue pair. Obviously my favorite color is blue. Uh, we got the Kobe six Grinches, which I need and I probably won't get um lebron seven christmases uh we got the adidas crazy eight nightmare before christmas which is a sleeper and the kobe zoom seven supreme christmases which is a tie for me with the kd5 christmas see she always got to somehow add an extra to her list Girl, i couldn't i couldn't choose between those two because she extra <laughs> look just because you guys don't love like i love Get out of here. Um, my number one would be the Kobe 6 Grinch. Number two would be the same SB High that both Danny and uh, Word chose. I don't know. The light color on the light gray on the other ones just didn't really do it for me. Um, then the LeBron 10 Christmas, the Air Max 90 Candy Cane, and then the Kobe 10 Elite Christmas. Wait, how you going to have a Kobe at the top of your list and not a LeBron. Like, where they do that at? Because the Kobe green are above that in my eye. Listen, <sighs> don't judge me, okay? I'm don't putting in a call. On my list. I'm putting in a call to somebody. You getting your crown revoked. Listen, oh, I <laughs> didn't vote because you decided to pull a Kobe <laughs> and we're decided to pull a LeBron in your little battle, okay? <laughs> and I'm still hearing about it, damn it. <laughs> there are top Christmas themed shoes, Stevie. Is Stevie falling asleep on the keyboard? I don't know, Stevie. Uh, Stevie, <laughs> we gonna have to have a talk after this because I don't know yes. where your head is at. <clears throat> um, well, I I would like to know the chat's pick out of the ones that we chose. Be yeah, that it's probably gonna be that. Cool the nines, the nine LeBrons was fire too. I think the eights were probably the best. Uh yeah, I do have the nines, the Christmas nine LeBrons, but I I think the eight is better. It's the same way with like my South Beach that I like the eight over the nine, but they're both still pretty fire pairs. I feel like people tend to shy away from holiday themed shoes because you can only wear it. Supposedly, you can only wear it during one time of the year, but I, I would wear them at any. If I had the Grinches, I would wear them all the time. I mean, if it's if it's a if it's a red and green shoe, you can wear that any time of the year. Because I mean, like Gucci is red and green or whatever. So, yeah, but when you got like candy canes and stuff like that, I, I mm -hmm. yeah, I get it. Because I usually only wear my Air Max nineties during the month of December. Because of them having candy canes all over them. Yeah, that makes sense. Is but, it that, that like a velvet material on those mm -hmm. nines too, or no? Uh, uh, that bear? Uh -huh. I'm trying to remember. I know the damn uh, laces are a pain in the ass because they're ribbons and they always come undone. I hate that. But they look so pretty. They do. They do. They definitely mm -hmm. do. Um... I feel like the Grinches could be worn all year round, too. They can. They definitely can. Pretty much all these shoes up there can pretty that we have up there can pretty much be worn all year round, with the exception of the 90s and hey, then the, those dunks, I think. Shout out but, to Ghost in the Building. His boys are playing right now, so for him to be in here is major. Facts. Facts. Miss DMV says she's going to go with the... No, you could wear several of the LeBrons on this list. Like, yeah, these I ones think, here, you could wear all year round. 
I think all of these can be worn yeah. all year round, except for the ninety and the and the dunk. Everything else you can pretty much wear anytime. I actually wore the LeBron seven Christmases on Valentine's Day. Um, I the last thing that I would like to discuss is uh this LeBron release that we're that's only in Cali, apparently. Yeah. I was all in the apps and I couldn't find a release nowhere. And then I put a search for there are three stores in the LA area. One of them is in Hollywood. And yes. I'm not even joking. I am thinking about taking a couple of PTO days and driving my ass down there just to get them because literally those are the only foot lockers that I've seen that are even remotely close to me. And they're they're not even close to anybody that I know, like within the sneaker community. So it's like I would have to drive mm -hmm. down there myself and grab them if I. Really but wanted. but how about they only starting at a seven and a half? Like what's with that? Oh yeah, I saw that. What's up with that? I don't appreciate that. Oh, facts. See, Chill Town, let's go. <laughs> well, I appreciate Danny entering for a size ten. No, I'm going to just get the smaller size and wear mad socks. Bruh, don't do that. Why not? <laughs> just go ahead and get that tip. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Bruh, I'm like, I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be calm now. I'm not even going to, going to lose my shit because. <sighs> hey, DS Cakes, what's up? Um, yeah, Danny says she's going to make it work. She's going to have them little cute little tie-dye socks layers, you know? <laughs> It's, it's crazy like I it's and I crazy. can't find actual numbers on them but when you look at uh, I was on the Foot Locker app when they first uh, put them on their release list and I was just like okay not in San Francisco damn it okay not in anywhere near me okay damn it so I was like let me just put in an LA area code, and it was like yep. three stores, three stores in one area. They're not can, in one area, but can you imagine how many entries they got <laughs> from from requests from all the at those three pair, uh, at those three stores? They gotta have like quite a bit of pair. Nah, no. um, is no. it like maybe maybe full size runs? Maybe I don't know. No, seriously, I'm down for that road trip, Chill Town. Yeah, just as long as you guys take somebody else to get my pair. Because I clearly can't fly into Cali. Else you have to what fly into Vegas and then drive over? Um, and I looked at these a couple weeks ago. They were like four fifty in a seven and a half on um StockX. They're at like nine hundred on GOAT right now. I haven't checked StockX in a minute, but you know, sometimes I'll go after LeBron's on StockX just so that I can have my shoe that I want. And then if I end up getting it um, any other way for retail, I'll just, you know, um, sell the extra pair or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Erica, are you close to any stores that are going to have it? Uh, it's not on sneakers yet. And we're not sure if it's even going to release on sneakers. Um, I've seen several articles on how to cop or where to cop. And it does say it's going to release on sneakers, but I haven't seen anything. Yeah, they haven't loaded anything on the app yet. Not even on the back end. They haven't loaded anything. Nope. Trash. Trash. Just trash. Um, those Beijing 8s are looking like they're going to be a little bit easier to get, so maybe that might be a consolation prize. Because mm -hmm. Chill Town already got them. Oh, that's what we're doing out here? Yeah, right. <laughs> Keep throwing you under the bus for one. I'm hating. There's Actually, there's several people I know that already got them. <laughs> We're talking about the Lakers LeBron 8. And, and, and I don't even feel like there's really any hype behind it, but then there is hype behind it. Uh, for the LeBron? Yeah. 
I mean, I've heard a bunch of people talking about them, but you know how it is. You'll get the people be like, oh, no, I don't want them. Oh, they're ugly or they're this or they're that. And then be the first ones posting a got them or a story post with them. Like, but wait, you said, okay, you know how that is. Yeah. It's whatever. But so far, it doesn't look to be coming in my size. So we'll see what happens because sometimes sneakers will load things that are in smaller sizes, whereas mm-hmm. the foot size won't. Yeah. And they'll do it last minute. Yep. Huh? Chilltown said the Beijing 18s. I'm not um, a big fan of 18, though. Oh, I love them. It's not for me. Um, but if you guys don't have anything to add, we can uh, end our last episode of 2020. Uh, we didn't explain this yet, but we just want to take some time to one, enjoy the holidays as much as we can during these times. Two, we want to completely revamp the look. We're going to work on some layout things with the um, with StreamYard and, and possibly um, including Stream Labs. Um, so we'll need some time to kind of test that out. Uh, and we have some new ideas on how we, uh, you know, want to proceed with all of our theories that we have on the channel. Uh, I don't know if Word will continue her Soul Survivor series, um, but we'll definitely continue the Let's Discuss and the unscripted lives that you guys I don't want to ruffle any battle feathers. <laughs> I'm just taking a pause until all this battle heat dies down. <laughs> yes, we do still have IG lives. Yeah, but uh, yeah, shout out to uh, shout out to who has the heat with their call out battles. It's pretty fire. No, it's- listen. Okay, everybody in here, I've been trying to call out IVA to battle just my LeBron collection. So everybody, go DM him. Go comment on his post. Go do something so that. You're LeBron. LeBron. You're LeBron's only versus all his shoes. Yes. Oh yeah, that's an easy. That's an easy one. Why he? Why he ducking? I. But I just want to do it because I think it'll be entertaining. Right. No, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Why he ducking? That's that should be a dub for him. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, go tell him that he should battle my LeBron collection. I have I had fun yesterday with um with three with three one three. Uh, with Michelle, yeah, that was a good battle. If you guys haven't seen the Who Has the Heat call out battles, they're actually really good. I called out Feats, but she ducking me. I don't appreciate that. L- listen, I would duck Danny too, and I told her why. Cause you got all the heat back there. Mm-mm. Man, she ain't nobody. I let her win. Here she go. Let's mute words. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for your support, and thank oh. you guys for coming through tonight. Wait, we're got to do the thing, right? Oh, the breast cancer raffle. You oh, that it? sounds like she totally wants to do it. I forgot about that, though. <laughs> no, because I forgot, because it's, it's, it's freaking 16 spins. <laughs> That's the Aggie part, I mean. Oh, I got to send you the list, too. The list is on the computer downstairs. Yikes. So you're going to have to do it yeah. on IG Live. I feel like going live, bro. We're already you here. You don't have to do it tonight. I do because I told everybody I would, and I've been putting it off. Oh. Right, let me let me go let me go email Hella the list so she can pull up the wheel because she has the access. So you guys entertain the people for the moment while I read. Here she go, babe. I don't know. I don't understand why she just don't share the folder on the network so she can access it from upstairs. Share the folder from this computer on the network so she can access it from the upstairs computer. Judge. She being one of my customers right now, folks. One of my customers. She being one of my customers. That's funny. We're speaking like people who work on computers all day. I'm just saying. Well, I guess you guys got a longer show than you thought. I I forgot about the raffle, and she didn't send me the info. So, so while words prepping for that, you guys can. Take a look at my last post on Instagram for the raffle for the PlayStation Xbox and those two pairs of shoes. $50 entry. Yes. Four chances to win some prize. And I have something that we can talk about while Word sets up and we um, get this. Um, Word said she, she said she emailed you. 
Um, let's talk okay. about this. I'm hey, sorry my, if you can hear my parents in the background. Um, uh, what are you pulling up? Um, oh, so I'll I'll read it. What happened to Golden? <laughs> Okay. Anyways, um, so I sent this to the ladies. I was talking to my sister earlier in the week. Um, somebody sent this question to um, an advice column, and I I felt some type of way about this. So I feel like it's good to talk about while we set up. And so the subject of this is. I want my fiance to rid of his four-year-old daughter. That's the subject. The message says, hi, talk, talks with me. I need some advice from the mommies on your page. My fiance has a four-year-old daughter. Her mother passed away when she was born. He's been raising her on his own ever since his, uh, he lost his wife. I am now in the picture and we are set to get married in 2022. I'm also seven months pregnant with a precious little girl. I am not the stepmother type, and I know I won't treat his daughter the same way I will treat our child. To be quite honest, she gets on my damn nerves. For one, the little girl looks just like her mother, and having her around constantly reminds my fiance of his dead wife's second. Second, she is very attached to her daddy, and I'm afraid this is going to take away from my child's bond with her father. I basically want to tell my fiance to rid, to get rid of her so she can live with her grandparents or we can find her a nice family that's looking to adopt a child. I don't know how to approach the situation, but I need to find a way to convince my fiance to let her go. I promise I am not a bad person. I'm just trying to look out for my child and make sure she receives all of her daddy's attention without having her older sister intervene. Please help. So he impregnated a whole complete waste of space. A trash can juice. So we need to find out where she live at and when she delivered, then I can drag her down some stairs. Yo, when my, I, when my sister was reading this to me, I couldn't believe it. Like, I was like, she's joking, right? Like, this is some type of prank. Like, this was on April 1st. I can't. Bro, that's like, like, the fact that you would even say that out loud and think it's okay or ask for advice on that is one crazy. I mean, I, I get where she's coming from, but at the same time, I don't get where she's coming from. Like, you know, but... I mean, maybe it's better she's saying this because she put in a situation where she might abuse the child. But like, you can't like this is not a puppy, and you're allergic that you but, want to just get rid of. But as a woman, mom, a woman your son's first, calling you. And as a, a woman that is growing another human life inside of her, you should never have that type of energy ever because you're going to be a mother. So the fact that she even fixed her mouth or her fingers or whatever to type this, he needs to take that new baby when it's born and leave her somewhere. Right on the side of the road. No cash to get home. No thumbs to hitchhike. <laughs> and no shoes to walk in. Trash. Like I, I don't know. I can't. I can't believe someone would even type it. Like put this out in the air. Crazy. I agree. Like first of all, that daughter, his daughter, did not ask to lose her mother at all. Exactly. And she had the nerve to say she's not the um, the stepmother type. Like what? So, like, you, you you got with this man knowing he was raising his child on his own. And at what point did you not think that this 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 wasn't well, going to work? Did they get together before the mother passed? The mother passed away at birth. Yeah, so. Oh, the little girl's the, four. Yeah, the little girl's four. Okay, yeah, so she's a whole. And she doesn't like the little girl because the little girl looks exactly like her mother who passed away. That you don't know. Four. Right, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like none of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. 
Like I get if maybe if she started dating him and you know, and then the mother passed during them dating, so now he's a single mm-hmm. dad or you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, bro, if you you do from the jump, you don't want to be anybody's stepmom, so why date anybody with kids? Mm-hmm. That part. Like you was a whole like what you thought, oh uh I'll just I'll just tough it out and he'll get like like send her off somewhere? Like what, what? No, he better send her off somewhere. And I like this post is going viral on um on Facebook in, in a whole bunch of groups. And like I and <laughs> Chilltown said dragging session session engaged, but honestly it's just mm-hmm. like how can you hate a child? And then say that you want your child to take precedence over another child. Like, they should be equal in all aspects of your relationship, marriage, whatever the case may be. But I'm like, it's a lot. But it's a lot to take on a relationship or somebody be in a relationship with someone who has a child. I get that. But, like, you came into this knowing that he had a child. Weird. You continued it knowing that he had a child that you didn't like. And then for you to be growing another human life inside of you and still feel this way, you are trash. Complete and utter trash. Mm. Like deserve to be spit on when I run into you trash. (laughs) Okay, word. Right, see? Oh, look at the purdy wheel. So how do you want to do this? Or do you want me to shuffle? Do I just start spinning? Yeah, so I guess we're just going to, we're going to, we're going to shuffle it like, uh, like we normally do until somebody in the uh, chat says stop. And uh, then we'll just hit it 16 times. And I'll just type a note to myself here of the order of the winners. Cause I'm going to have to contact each winner basically in order for them to pick their prizes. Yeah, their parents can be Basuda. Um, my goddaughter, um, her parents were married and then they got divorced. So, you know, they're split now and she splits her time between both her parents. But I, I thought of her in the situation, like, how would I feel if somebody was marrying her father and felt that way about her? Like, I honestly, I can't even tell you what I would do because that child means the world to me. But it's just like, I don't know why you would put yourself in that situation knowing that the outcome most likely is not going to be in your favor. Okay, guys, I'm going to start shuffling till I see a stop. I don't see a stop. This is for the breast cancer awareness deal. Yeah, so in October, uh, we did breast cancer awareness, raising money. Um, you know, some people just donated money, some people bought items, and I also did a thing where you can donate $25 and you would get entered into a chance for a raffle. Uh, we had 33 people who entered. And basically Sandra says stop. I have uh, 16 prizes. Word. I'm not on here. Huh? I'm not on here. You're not on there? No. You donated to the raffle? Yes. Oh, boy. All right, so throw your name on there. How did I miss your name? I don't know. Now nah, we'll swing. Yeah, so the prizes are a size 10 and a half men, Jordan 3 denim fire reds, a size 10 men, Captain. Um, oh, wow, Greg. Rides. Oh, at least differently? Dope. Do I remove? Uh, Yes. You got his name down? You sure? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Should I play me? Yep. Just so you know. Oh, Thunderbird Jim. Jim Jim. And he ain't even in here. He ain't right. even in here. Shouldn't even call him. Oh, ash yes. You got him? Yep. Next. Number Trey. Well, 16. Wait, what is the spin set on? I don't know. I just pulled it up. We'll write this one down. Please. I wrote it down. 
put it on. We can't put it on 60 because 60 is a long time, but uh, what is it on now? Probably 45, right? No, 10. Oh, now nah, put that on 30 at least. Should I shuffle again? Uh, yeah, why not? Shuffle one more time till somebody say stop. I'll go back to the list. Yeah, so uh, Gigi said, Usually, if a man is a good provider, some women prey on that, trying to be the sole attention for the man. They often insist the man neglect the child so he can focus only on her and her wants. That's a selfish, you know what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we also have a size four GS and the denim three fire reds, a size 12 and a half C and the Danny. Let me know when someone says Jordan stop. Lasers, uh. We have a T Mark breast cancer Stop. and T. We have a T Mark breast cancer fitted hat. We have a Woody and Buzz Lightyear pop figure set. A LeBron James weedy cereal box with display case. We have a Supreme pipe wrench. Travis Scott McDonald's gold sesame t shirt. Two uh, X. We have a I did, Travis Frankie. Scott socks. The, the Cactus Trail. Uh, uh, almost not sure. Yeah. Is that three or four? Uh, that is a four. Put it E dot L E Lyles. Uh, okay, got it. <laughs> Frankie, play nice. Frankie, be nice. He, he, he's gifting. He's gifting two items, so. Oh, is that going to be one of Mr. Miller's kids? It's going to be Caden. Oh, wow. He bought a slot for each of his kids. Wow. Oh, man. He better hope. He can't even get one prize for one of the children. No, I think they'll restock easy on the 11s. It's just, I was surprised to see how many people took L's. Yeah, the 11s be funny. It'd be real funny. Uh oh. Oh, is it going to be Jamie or A Pain? A Pain. Yeah, but on that note, we also, Danny has her raffle going for the PlayStation 5 digital with the HD camera, the Xbox X series, the size five and a half in the black metallic ones, and the size six in the mocha ones. They're $50 a slot, 60 slots. There's only 19 left. Uh, we do go live. Oh, uh, and my mom, or is Rep going to take the snatchies? Oh, uh, shout out to mama. Uh, yeah, we go live and we do mini boards. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go live tonight because I know Danny. Yeah, I think Danny right. talked about it already. No, oh, are you are you trying to go live tonight, or it might be a bit much? Uh, I don't want to drain you. But uh, we go live. We do ten dollar ten slot mini boards where there's two winners who, who advance to the big board, so you can get on the big board for just ten dollars. Uh, well, of our rounds, people have uh, actually hit back to back in that one round with like two slots. <coughs> so you know, but you can always just buy a fifty dollars slot. Oh, that's DJ D Day. <coughs> I mean, one slot gets you four chances to win. You know, some pretty dope prizes. So you know, it's not like the normal ones where the PlayStation you do fifty dollars and it's one and done. I got it. Stevie, um, why don't you battle somebody? <laughs> what does Stevie say? Oh, Danny. Uh, what number are we on? Uh, that was number eight, so we're on number nine. But yeah, we're trying to get these prizes out before Christmas, mm -hmm. people. So let's get these boards filled. Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you don't want to spend the fifty dollars just to get on the big board, come take your chances with ten. Mm -hmm. Or we might do a couple of five dollar ten slots. 
Oh boy, here we go. Oh, wait, I don't. We no. haven't gone live the last two days uh, for the mini boards. No. Brett. Oh, big snow four one four. Right. <laughs> Rep any money bullying the board on the on the uh, on the PlayStation raffle. Go ahead, number ten. All I mean, his name is E Money. All right. Listen. I'm trying to <laughs> Stevie battle. Stevie versus BX. Stevie, get up there and 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 battle BX. Is Jim about to get another slot, bro? Nope. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. He about to get sniped by Matt. The longer you spin, the more interesting it is. <laughs> Go ahead, Five bro. more? Uh, yep. No, six, uh, six more. Just 16. Because um, it was 15 prizes, but uh, Nick... Stevie be hiding. I know he got shoes. He be hiding. Oh, Nick donated a prize? Yeah, his uh, Nick, send one my way because she forgot to add me. <laughs> Sorry, uh oh, Kingston, is he, about Kingston? he about to snipe. He about to snipe. Kingston? Hey, both kids get a prize. Oh, hey, both kids get a prize. Too bad Mr. Miller's not here to see this. Well, good thing you can watch the playback. Got it, not for long. Is he in here? I feel like he was in here for a minute. I'm not sure. Nah. GZ said, who to who want to do shoe tube boxing? Hey, they need one of those. <laughs> oh, that Jake Jake versus Nate was a shoe tube? <laughs> uh, sneaker head boxing. Huh? Danny, who are you trying to box? <laughs> uh oh. I think it's going to be cars. No, I think it's going to be Jules. Is it Jewels? <laughs> oh, you cheating. That's why. Who, me? You hidden below the belt. <laughs> she says she's not going to bust you upside your head. She's going to bust you upside the jewels. <clears throat> How many more words? Uh, four. Did we establish if we were going live or not? No, we did not. Oh, we playing it by ear. I know Danny probably got homework, or are you on break? No, I'm not on break. I still got another week of class. Well, then she got to do her homework. So. It's 11 weeks. This is only week 10. I'm like the sass in your voice. Okay? Um, I, I, how many slots did Jim buy? And what? the My regular raffle? No, this one, because this is his second oh. win. Oh. Yeah, this is his second win. <laughs> Jeezy said you gotta set up weight classes and all. Good. We're doing the spins for the breast cancer raffle that word did. Well, we need weight classes for. I'm just aiming for the tenderloin. That's it. Danny. <laughs> hey, tree block. <laughs> below the belt below the belt shout out to the homies at trade block uh, I was talking to Cassidy earlier they are going to be doing a holiday giveaway with multiple prizes um, they're going to bring the details to light a little later they're working out the kinks so they'll let me know um, I'll post it up in my stories once they give me all the info but stay tuned to them you know they hit 100 trades congratulations to them oh that's dope yeah yeah, people have been on it now. Because now that they opened it, you know, they opened it to everybody. A lot of people. Jamie's like, going to steal this one. Yep. Jamie. Lightweight, middleweight, heavyweight. Bruh, GZ, if you don't sit yourself down. <laughs> J. Jeff, get out of here. <laughs> um. I got while we were on live. I had three three Last trade thing. offers that came through. We heard your phone vibrating. <laughs> All three trade offers. They're trying to get my mochas to give me those dunks that I don't want. Yo, what dunks? They've been trying to get my mochas. 
The black and yellow ones. Oh, okay. Uh oh, it's gonna be Josh. Josh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He, he another one got a clover in his ass. All right, that is everybody. Know what I'm saying so. In number order, I'll be contacting everyone. We have Lace differently. OG Jim, Jarma Carice, E Lyles 10, Caden A Payne, Mom Dukes, D Dave, Rep Milwaukee, Matt Kingston, Jay Littles, OG Jim again, Trey Block, Jamie Loves Sneakers, and Josh. So I'm gonna have to hit up everybody individually uh, in order because, you know, like I said, the winners get to pick from the list. So I'll be contacting everyone once they pick. I'll go back down the list. And uh, appreciate everybody who, you know, helped us raise money for a great cause and who have been patient. It's freaking December, and I know this was done back in October, but I was also trying to collect all the prizes and finalize some things. Shout out to everybody who donated prizes uh, way before the fame. Check out his uh, clothing that launched uh, yesterday. Well, midnight. It launched midnight. He releases on the 13th of every month. Uh, shout out to T Mark and his hats. He's donating two hats and a t shirt. Uh, shout out to the homie SS3 Kicks. Um, shout out to Big Mo Kicks, the plug, the plugs, plug. Yeah, I'm saying, appreciate all you guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in to us and, uh, you know, allowing us to take this break to come back even better. Shut down the internet. Shut down the internet is what we're about to do. We got to ladies. Let yeah, her the ladies do the show business, you know what I'm saying? And we keep y'all entertained. Yeah. Um the okay. Monday mid, so we'll be coming back tomorrow. tomorrow. Make sure yeah. you guys tune in for yeah. that. The most underrated, never duplicated, funniest YouTuber on show. Uh tomorrow, right? Skip's gonna be on. Oh, I, I didn't see a flyer, so I don't Oh yeah, I think I think Kev had a fly. I saw um uh other Kev. I don't want to say it, white Kev, uh, KB. <laughs> I saw him. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I think Buckeye posted on his page, and I saw Kev, uh, KB. Oh, I gotta screen. repost that. Then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I guess look out for our, our Instagrams. We may 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 or may not go live later. Uh, if not, we're gonna try to go live tomorrow. We gotta get these slots filled so we can finish off. I mean, just follow us on Instagram in general because we be going live whenever we feel like it. We be funny and we be cutting up, and Danny be cutting up mostly. But, yeah. you know. If you want to see a nice shot, why of- y'all giving me that type of reputation? I you want to see a nice shot of hella ceiling, and uh, you know, you, you know. See you want to if you want to see Instagram play me to where I think that I'm like this, but really all you guys see is like this hella close, then you know follow me on Instagram. <laughs> wait for you to put it on the Yammies. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> so tell a friend, tell a friend, get you a slot in my raffle. We're trying to get these prizes out. I think we have about 19 mm-hmm. slots left to fill, and then. We can spin this wheel and get somebody an Xbox, get somebody a PlayStation, get somebody a pair of shoes they can give to a friend, uh, sell it, give to a boo thing, a child, whoever. And this is all free. No shipping costs, none, none, nothing. Unless you're international, that we have to work something out. We got to have like a, a cat. I don't think we've had any international yet. Yeah, I don't we? think so either. We don't have any international entries as of yet. So, yeah. But, but international homies that was we'll cross that me. bridge if we come to it. Right. But as it stands, your entry gets you absolutely 100% free item insured because we know how to USP. Well, boom. It's just the cost of your slot. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what she meant. Because I still ain't got my Jordan. Because somebody's going to come up on here and be like, wait, she said it was free. Um, but they need to BX, sit down. Yeah. BX. Um, I'm Hello Lace. Thank you guys for uh, a roller coaster when it comes to our YouTube channel. A good roller coaster, nonetheless. But we oh, Brandon is extra late. <laughs> right. Hey, Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Work. Go uh, ahead and do your work customs. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Appreciate everybody. 
It's been a pretty mm -hmm. full year, despite what's going on in the world. It brought us here, and uh, you know we're gonna keep bringing you guys good content into the new year. Coming back, revamp with uh, probably a crazy first show. We'll see what happens. But uh, we appreciate y'all. It's my turn. You know they say the best for last. So I just want to shout out the chat. I want to shout out um, everybody that comes and supports us on every Sunday. I know you guys um, could be doing other things, but you you dedicate your time uh, to, to watch our faces and to hear what we have to say. Um, so I want to thank you for that. Uh, I want everyone to stay safe. I want everyone to do their best to enjoy their holidays. I want everyone to um try and stay sane because i know this is a trying time right now um with everything that's going on in the world mm -hmm. from politics to COVID to us being isolated away from our friends and our families and not being able to touch and hug one another um if anyone is is struggling mentally make sure you try and reach out to anyone anyone that you are comfortable with speaking with i mean hell it, it, you can even just drop me a DM. Um, I, I, I'll pretty much listen to anyone and try to give the best possible advice that I can. Mom, um, you talk many a person off a ledge. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I try. I'm, I'm no professional. But, you know, we, we, we all, you know, sometimes we just need someone to hear us out. If you even want to just pick up the phone and just scream in my ear or cry, I'll listen to that. Um, but do what you can. Talk to your friends. Um, talk to your family members, you know, because it, it's a rough time for everyone. Um, but again, y'all know where to find me. I'm on Instagram, caramel underscore wonder, wonder with an AR at the end, mm -hmm. same name on Twitter. That's where I talk the most shit on Twitter and on Instagram. So you can follow me in both those places. Um, I also got the links in my bio for my socks. Anyone want to get some nice Tata socks to keep those toes warm for the winter, you know where to find them. Hit that but link. Don't follow her on Facebook because she'll block you. <laughs> but go like the the mature kids Facebook because we're gonna start integrating our lives. Um, yes. On that Facebook page. Yes. Too. We're gonna um, try things and and you know just follow. Like we're gonna we're gonna be posting some clips and yes. stuff from past shows during during this break. We're still gonna be interactive. We're gonna probably post some interactive questions and stuff like that. You know, getting ideas for for the new format. So. Yeah, make sure you make sure you stay tuned. Happy holidays, guys, and Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>